Okay, so in this video, I'm going to give you a brief introduction to Leslie matrices so that we can talk about them in the next section on diagonalization and long-term behavior. One important application of matrix models is population distribution. Let's consider a population of seabirds. Let P1 of T be the number of newborn birds, P2 of T be the number of one-year-old birds, and P3 of T be the number of two-year-old birds at a time T, which is measured in years. We are going to take measurements of the population size for each category at discrete times, t equals zero, one, two, et cetera. We can keep track of all three age groups at once using the vector p of t with components p1 of t, p2 of t, and p3 of t. Now, over a couple of years, we collect some information. Only one and two year old birds are capable of breeding. And on average, each one year old bird will produce two chicks per year. And each two year old bird produces 1.5 chicks per year. Also, each year, 40% of newborns and 30% of one year old birds survive. No bird is going to live beyond the age of two. Our bird population therefore satisfies a system of equations. We can get the number of newborns one year later by taking twice the number of one-year-olds plus 1.5 times the number of two-year-olds. That's giving us the number of new chicks. We can also get the number P1 of T plus one of one-year-old birds one year later by taking 0.4 times the number of newborns from the previous year. That's the 40% that survive. And similarly, P2 of T plus one, the number of two-year-old birds one year later is equal to 0.3 times P1 of T, since 30% of one-year-old birds survive. We can take this system of equations and write it in matrix vector form. The vector P of T plus one is equal to the matrix zero to 1.5, 0.4, 0, 0, 0, 0.3, 0 times P of T, and we'll call this matrix M. M is an example of what's known as a Leslie matrix. In general, a Leslie matrix describes how a population that has been divided into various age groups transitions over time using its birth and survival rates for each of the age groups. For example, let's consider now a population of insects that's been divided into two age groups, juveniles and adults. Each year, a juvenile insect produces 1.5 new insects and an adult produces two new insects you know, on average. And 8% of juveniles survive to adulthood while no insect lives beyond one year. Let's find a Leslie matrix for this scenario. We'll divide our insects into the two population groups, juveniles and adults. One year later, we know that we have a number of new insects. And the way we find those is by taking 1.5 times the juveniles and two times the adults. Also, we can find out the number of adults the following year. We get those by taking 0 0.08 times the number of juveniles from the previous year, plus zero times the previous adults since no one lives beyond one year. Now we can also decide to impose an initial condition. Let's suppose that the population begins with 100 juveniles and 100 adults at time t of zero. That is, we can describe the population by a vector p of zero, which is equal to 100, 100, with the first component representing the number of juveniles at time t equals zero and the second component, the number of adults. 
Notice that I'm being careful here to keep the order J A the same as I used for the Leslie matrix. Now to find the population distribution two years later, we'll go one step at a time. First, finding the population one year later by taking our Leslie matrix times the initial population, 100, 100. Multiplying out, we have 350 and 8. So one year later, we should see 350 juveniles and 8 adults. The population distribution two years later will be the Leslie matrix times the previous population distribution, P of 1, or 358. Doing this matrix vector multiplication gives 451 juveniles and 28 adults at the end of two years. And you could continue using this pattern to find the population distribution k years later. And in the next series, we'll talk about how you would find the population distribution for very large k.